Number 89. The capacitor in figure 23.55b will filter high frequency signals by shortening them to earth ground. Letter A. What capacitance is needed to produce a reactance of 10 milliohms for a 5 kilohertz signal? So uh, basically what we need to do here is we need to find the capacitance. They're giving us the capacitive reactance and the frequency, right? We've seen this plenty of times now. So we're going to be using this formula. 1 over then 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. If I'm asked to solve for then the capacitance, all we're simply going to do is just cross multiply the C on over, but then we got to cross multiply this on down. So here's the formula. And then all we got to do is plug it in, right? Look at how quick this is. This is very, very nice. So here's the hertz, but we need that in, well, they gave us kilohertz, right? But we need that in hertz. So simply take five and multiply it by 10 to the third. Reactive capacitance here, they told us was 10 milliohms, but you know we need that in ohms. So take 10 and multiply it by 10 to the minus three. Basically, these two will cancel. Right, so it's basically just 1 over 2 pi times 5 times 10, and then plug that on into the calculator. All right, and obviously you can simplify it from there. So 1 divided by, right, 5 times 10 is 50, times 2 is then 100. So it's basically 1 divided by 100 pi. So here the capacitance equals 0. Well, let me put in scientific. So there's going to be 3.18. So 3.18 times 10 to the, I guess, there and minus three. That's in terms of farads, okay? So that takes care of letter A. <clears throat> letter B, what would its reactance be at three hertz? All right, so basically assume that the capacitance is staying constant. So now we have to find the reactance, okay? So it's one over two pi times the frequency times the capacitance. So it's one over now two pi times the frequency has changed, it's now three hertz. And then uh, the capacitance here is going to be 3.18, what we just found, times 10 to the minus 3. Plug that all into the uh, uh, calculator. And it's just going to be 1 divided by now 2 pi times 3 times then that answer from before. Close the parentheses. And this works out to be about 16.7 now ohms. All right. So let us see. Discuss the implications of your answers, right? So... Uh, basically, uh, what we're what we're gonna do is let's let's take a look at the frequency. In case one, the frequency here was gonna be five thousand hertz, and we have an inductive capacitance then of basically this is ten times ten to the minus three, so that's 0 0.01 uh, ohms. In the second case over here, so this is case one. In case two, now we have a a a, a frequency of three, so frequency is now three, and the inductive capacitance now not the inductor, the reactive capacitance, sorry, is equal to 16.7 ohms. So notice high frequency produces a lower now resistance, basically. All right, it's measured in ohms. It's called reactive capacitance, but high frequency produces a lower um, reactive capacitance. Here's a lower frequency, and it produced a higher reactive capacitance. And that's that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you can, give us a hand, like, and subscribe, and uh, check out some of the other videos. All right, even if you're taking chem or precalculus, we have some videos out there for you. All right, be well.